Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy. The Bible is clear that we are in a spiritual war, we who are believers, and that there is a spirit war going on around us between God and the devil. But yet, we do not have two equal foes. We have a defeated foe, Satan or the devil, against the almighty, sovereign God. And in this battle, Satan's power is limited. For God still is sovereign over the universe and sovereign over this earth. Uh, Psalms 103 verse 19 states, The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. His kingdom rules over all. In Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 5, the Word of God states, The Lord works out everything for His own ends, even the wicked for a day of disaster. God works out everything for His own ends, even the wicked for a day of disaster, even those who are doing evil. Though they are fighting against God, God is working it upon them, upon the demonic foes that we face for a day of disaster. Uh, the book of Job is a good example of God's sovereignty in the spiritual warfare. For you read in Job chapter 1 and verse 6 where, it's, where the word of God states, Now there was a day when the sons of God, and the sons of God is a reference to angelic beings can be referenced to both good and evil angels they came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan came also among them uh, even the demonic foes have to answer to God in his sovereign rule over the universe uh, you read the next few verses of scripture and even in chapter 2, Satan has to get permission from God to attack Job. And so we face a foe, the devil, a defeated foe, who has limitations placed upon the evil that he can do. Uh, that God is a restraining power against his evil. Uh, Ultimately, God is in control of the situation, though sometimes it may not seem like so to us. William Gurnall, the Puritan writer, stated, Believers' troubles are for Christ's cause. The ark may shake, but it cannot fall. The ship of the church may be tossed, but it cannot sink, for Christ is in it and, aw and will awaken in plenty of time to keep it safe. Therefore, we have no reason to disturb him with screams of unbelief when storms beat angrily against the church. In times like these, our faith is in more danger of sinking than Christ and his church. God's promises hold them securely out of the reach of both men and devils. So, in the spiritual war that we face and that we're bombarded with every day, it is important that we keep our faith in God. That He is, has all things under control. Uh, that we are winners in Him. And that the devil's power is limited. We should never underestimate or overestimate the devil's power. But in all things, we must have our faith in God that victory is ours no matter what tragedies, what persecution, what may come against us. Victory is ours for those who have faith in the sovereign God, in Jesus Christ our Lord and our God and Savior. Amen.